2015 Mercedes-Benz S550. So today we're going to look at how the car's drivability is affecting the new technologies that allow the car to drive itself. So uh, Mercedes-Benz now have what is called Intelligent Drive. That is going to give this car the driver's assistance package, which um, basically gives it adaptive cruise control to work and basically stop and go in traffic without any input from the driver at all. So with, with that drivability being so technologically advanced, you're almost inclined to you know, not even watch the road anymore as we're embedded to as drivers to keep focused on the road, but now you can do such things as Google search or, or check your Facebook right here on the car, or do a Yelp search, or, or even check the news. So uh, pretty cool features that, that are coming in the new cars of today. So right now we're driving a 2015 Mercedes-Benz S550, and this car has the driver's assistance package on it, so that, which means it's got all the intelligent drive features. So right now we've been on 35 northbound and we've been driving for about five miles and I really haven't put much input to the steering wheel at all nor have I touched a pedal since we got onto the highway so this car is adapting to the lines of the road with two cameras in the windshield and it's adapting to all the traffic around us with um, also those two cameras and also a radar in the, in the front grille so the entire time we've been on the highway and um, the cruise is set right now we're at 60 and uh, if any traffic were to come in front of us, it would basically adapt to that traffic and we wouldn't have to touch a thing. Um, so I think we should take this um, 35 to the Broadway exit, and I'm going to show you how the car will just completely stop itself without any input from the driver. So um, we're going to loop this around over to Broadway, right up the top of this exit, and without the car having any input from me, the driver, this car come to a complete stop and you're in bumper to bumper traffic I mean for this car to stop and go on its own it really takes a lot of the, the work out of it for the driver so not only is it a safety feature but it is a, it is a huge convenience feature too so okay. so as soon as this light were to turn green all, all we need to do to start going again is just tap the uh, tap the gas have the car uh, senses that you're going to be uh, hitting something or in a wreck it will beep at you to warn you and then it'll also apply brakes on its own even without the distronic system on so yes, it does have an override safety feature where if a collision is imminent, it's going to apply brakes for you if you're not paying attention. So, and it can completely avoid a collision. So uh, this is a 2015 S550, and they start at right about 95,400. Um, equipped with all the safety features and all the drivability features, you can get a, a 2015 S550 for right about 100,000. And um, this is basically the Mercedes-Benz flagship. It's been the, our best vehicle for decades and, and it still sets the bar for all other automakers. So with the car still driving itself, I'm just, um, I am checking my AT&T account to see how many days I have left before I go over all my data. So what you're looking at right now is the, um, is the standard telephone screen. So we were able to actually call somebody by using our finger on this touchpad and we can actually dial a name or a number by just type by drawing the uh, the name or number right here on this pad so we can dial nine or nine. and you can do that while you're driving Seven. or you can dial by voice by just saying hitting the voice button and saying call home and you know to zoom in or or zoom out you can use it just like you would an iPhone or an iPad and then this is just the standard map here that is that comes with Mercedes-Benz and then also the car has the ability to use um, Let's see here, it has the ability to use Google Maps. So you could go to um, our apps function of the of the internet portion of the car. Go to Mercedes-Benz apps, and um, we have quite a few choices on on different things that are integrated into the car. Like you can go to Google Maps, you can go to weather, Google search, you can look at local or national news, um, you can look at Facebook.